Hello everyone. Thousands of people come to UK for study or to work and if they decide London region as their location where they are going to study their university courses or they are going to work for either Title II or ICT, one thing they need to make sure is whether to stay inside the London or stay outside of London. This video is about what are the important things you need to consider before you decide to stay inside or outside which is the best these tips which i'm going to give in this video will help you don't skip this video this will help you to decide whether you want to stay inside london or you want to stay outside of london what are the benefits of those we will cover in this video welcome to the channel sudhara yapan hope you like this video please like subscribe and comment the video let's get into the video so if you are decided to study in london region that is london area so there is two things you need to make sure whether you are going to be in the london zones or you are going to be outskirts of London that is outside or close to M25. What is M25? M25 is the London uh, ring road, orbital ring road. It's around a uh, length coverage of around 150 miles. It covers the whole of London. Anything inside M25 is called Greater London. Anything outside is called kind of uh, the touching areas of the other counties which will also be called as London or reachable distance from central London. So zone 1 to 9 we call it as which is within the M25 region. Some slight, some zones will be slightly going out of M25 as well. What are the things you need to consider when you are deciding to stay inside London or outside London irrespective of your study or work? The first thing is affordability. Affordability when compared to central London to outside London, there is a huge difference. I would say 20 to 30 percent difference in your cost or affordability between inside London and outside London. So that's again consist of your food, your transport and then the renting. So there will be def definitely difference in these things. With respect to the food, some areas inside London will have cheaper food, cheaper vegetables because of loads of things are available uh, near to the place where it is being imported from through the air cargo or through the airplanes. But if you go outside of London, the cost is added, transport cost is added to this food materials or groceries, specifically any Asian or other groceries, then you will have to pay a little bit more if you go outside of London. That's one thing. And the other thing is, as I mentioned, the rent. Rent inside London, as you go closer to the central London, the cost will be astronomical. So even a single bedroom flat or a studio apartment will cost you around 700 to 1000 pounds that that's that's very very uh, at, the, at the lower scale so if you're in central london single bedroom will cost more than 1000 pounds to rent but if you move outside of london towards m25 or the border of m25 definitely you'll get it cheaper than the central london where for 1000 pounds you'll get a double bedroom house or a flat and then added benefit on top of it is you get a bigger house with a garden or bigger house with the car parking facility all those things but inside london you will get a parking space but it adds on top of your rent also having a car inside london you have to meet lot of pollution control measures where your car should be very brand new or should be just less than five to ten years old so that it meets the ultra low emission zone in some areas you have to pay congestion charge even if you are living in that particular zone you have to pay congestion charge that this all adds to your uh, monthly accommodation cost as well as your uh, monthly expenses if you have kids then definitely i would suggest search for any accommodation outside of london and then you'd spend time and money to travel into london so the amount you save in the housing market that is in renting you can put into the transport cost and then you only need to travel to central london for your job or your studies and then your kids and your family can stay and have a bigger house and then better quality of life with more open space in outside London and the other thing if you have kids then schools in London region inside London it, we, we have to wait for a long time that is the waiting list is very long and then you will not get any schools near to your home if you are in outer London there are more chance you will get school school seats for your kids that's that's one thing and also the park the pollution is less, the open space is more in outside London compared to central London which is more of a concrete jungle apart from few uh, parks inside. So based on the work, if you are coming to London, central London for work or studies, I would suggest only you travel and then keep the family outside of London. 
which will save you money in rent and then that that savings is will be definitely you will be putting on to the transport cost then but the quality of life you get in outside london is more and then the schools you will get a good schools outside of london and then you no need to be in the waiting list and you in some t- some cases a lot of people inside london they will not be given a school place near to their home so they have to be they will be asked to travel to another location where you have to again arrange for a uh, school travel or you have to arrange for a, a child minded who will pick up and drop your kids which all adds to your monthly sp- expenses so even if you are a kind of a middle in- middle earner or a high earner depends upon your situation the quality of life outside london for a family with kids is good compared to inside london but if you are a, if you are a bachelor or if you are just a couple who are known have kids in that case you can choose central london which will have a lot of a lot of facility for you to enjoy your life with uh, uh, as a bachelor or with a, with, a, with a, as a couple you can do that and when you have kids definitely a lot of people in uk move out of london for a best better quality of life with uh, bigger houses garden and then lot of places to play around and less pollution in central london is one of the worst polluted area in uk so you will you will not see that in the news but central london is more polluted because of lot of slow moving cars and then lot of uh, uh, buses even though there are lot of cars which pol- which emit less uh, emission compared to the time 10 15 years back however still it's higher than the permitted level of across the uk so central london best suitable for bachelors and married couples or couples outside london suitable for a uh, family with kids and then cost of living in outside london is less and if you are a couple both of you are earning you can enjoy more night life inside london so based on this you can decide which 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 area you have to spend your time in london while you are in london or while in your uk hope this video gave you information about uh, the pros and cons of central london living as well as outside london living what are the benefits for married couples what are benefits for uh, couples with kids hope this helps you we'll see in the next video until then take care bye